out, out like this, I wouldn't typically do this way in the classroom. I would reteach it, you know, like with the ball. Or, you know, someone's rocking back and forth. So I might just very say, oh, here's a way to see. Let me know how that works for you. And just keep moving on with your, your goal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we all, I like rocking chairs. And same with tactile. Some students, soft is going to irritate them, where a hard surface to rub against is going to create that proprioceptive need and, and meet that need. Once that's being taught and you've modeled it, we made up some little cards that are kid friendly. And, let's, and it says on the card, I can't sit. Can I have a lap pad? And they can, without even raising their hand or asking, when you are hard, no one needs to know what it is. Sure, here's a lap pad. And then we're teaching self-regulation and independence. And that's not disruptive to the class or um, retreat. We also have a little bag. Catechist comes in 10 minutes early, throws the stuff in the corner. And that's going to be a different time where you might whew, have the lava lamp. You might have some, that's where I would be putting the trampoline. Um, you can also be putting in some calming lights. I would like to say with these lights, sometimes it's super calming, just medical information. If the student or individual has propensity, or seizures, you do not want to blame you lights. 